Good morning, everybody. Give Facebook a few seconds to make sure everybody knows that I'm live. Sorry about the delay from, or the reschedule, I should say, from yesterday because um, life just gets in the way, unfortunately. And between my father and an elderly dog at the house, last week or so has been pretty rough. Not too many people in my house are getting sleep, unfortunately. So I apologize, but not much can be done for that. Wanted to show you, look at what I'm working on. Isn't it cute? This is going to be the September fill in the blank for Kimberbell. It's a bench body pillow. So it's going to have a little pillow form. And this is going to match Candy Cane, I want to say Candy Cane Lane, which is the large bench pillow that they're coming out with for Christmas. Isn't it cute? We've been working on so much stuff. If you looked at my Facebook page, you saw um, working on um, finalizing the layout for my One Block Wonder class. It's going to be a little bit different than you're probably used to in that all of the triangles are going to be pre-cut for you. And the class will include the pre-cut kit. So that's seven panels, six are cut, one for the center. So if you haven't seen that, take a look at Facebook and you'll get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And everyone looks a little bit different because it depends on how you put them together. Um, I just need to know from everybody and anybody whether you want the class to be virtual, in which case I will set it up or whether you want in class. Things are really crazy right now. I know that um, there's a lot of uncertainty. So I'm just trying to help out wherever I can. Um, I will go through in the class how to actually get all of the triangles, how to cut them. But um, if we were to have a class with for One Block Wonder, um, most of the class would be cutting. So I'm taking that out of the equation. I will explain to you and give you the paperwork on how to cut your triangles. But then I'm gonna go into, since you don't have to cut them, I'm gonna go into more of the actual assembly of a one block wonder with a panel. All right, but let me know in Facebook whether you think you wanna join the class, whether you want it to be virtual, in class, just so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing because I need all the help I can get. Checky, checky, checky. Look at, I posted these. I actually did more too yesterday. This is from Kimberbell's Candy Corn um, Quilt Shop, the Halloween quilt. And I'm doing it as a quilt as you go with Battleizer and Kimberbell quilt motifs. Isn't it cute? I like that. I've been doing a lot. All right. We are working on blocks. 55 and 56, they're not very difficult blocks and I haven't done any prep work yet, so bear with me other than lay them out, that's all I have done. It's just been <sighs> crazy. I feel like I'm a little bit of a zombie here, people. I don't like being a zombie. All right, let's see what we've got. So hopefully you can see this. We've got three, four patches, small, small ones. So we've got one here, one here, and one here, and then three other pieces. And what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna sew the four patches together. Then you're gonna, once the four patches are together, you're gonna sew them with the long piece and then put the all three rows together. I am sewing these with a scant quarter of an inch. Um, what does that mean? That means it's a smaller than a slightly smaller than a quarter of an inch seam, a thread or two. Why? Because these are really tiny pieces. And I'd rather they be a little bit bigger and cut them down and not big enough. 
I am also chain piecing. What does that mean? That means I do not break my thread and I'm just gonna keep on piecing them to the machine or sending them to the machine. Kind of like a manufacturing line. So hopefully everybody else is staying safe and doing well. Things are just so out of control and so up in the air. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. And for anybody who is asking, my dad is fine. It's not anything super serious. It could be serious. Um, it's just that if you haven't didn't know before, my dad has dementia or Alzheimer's, whichever you want to call it. They kind of lap it all together or lump it all together. Um, he doesn't walk really well and he has a heart condition. So I do and my family does. He lives with us and we do everything for him. He also has... Um, very small ear canals and they're filled with wax right now. So it's kind of like he's going through vertigo. So between allergies and um, this wax buildup that we're trying to get taken care of, he's having um, bouts of dizziness and upset stomach. So it's not good. So we try to keep him from moving around. And unfortunately, because of the Alzheimer's slash dementia, we go through a lot of this stuff over and over again, where I tell him to sit down and he forgets that he's got an issue and gets back up and starts walking around and wants to fall over or throw up because he's dizzy. It just makes life a little bit more difficult. But we have a um, baby monitor in his here when he needs help, but it just, it's like uh, any uh, parents out there who have small babies. You, um, once you have that monitor in there, it's, it's like, that's all I can hear now. That's all I'm listening to. And I wake up in the middle of the night thinking I hear him, it's just crazy. And then I also have an old, very old 17 year old Shih Tzu, senile, deaf, blind dog at home, who decides to walk around in the middle of the night and get stuck. He makes all kinds of, so my poor daughter is left awake a lot. So that's what this week has been. Between the senile dog and my See now, father, it's been a little bit crazy. All right. So now we've got our four, our well, half of our four patches sewn together. What I did is, I know it's hard to tell, but we've got two different white fabrics in here. And I, sewed or ironed my seam towards the same fabric in both cases. Just like in the grays, I, iron, I ironed my seam towards the darker gray. What that does is it allows us to nest our seams. Now, a lot of this is repeat because let's face it, we're on block 55 and 56. So we've done a lot of this over and over again, but that's why this quilt is great because you are really gonna hone in on your skills. So on the top seam is going this way, the bottom seam is going this way, okay? And you can actually nest your seams so that they fit perfectly. They'll be nice and flat. And that's when you know you've done it right. And I put my pin in on an angle. Cause I'm gonna sew from here down. And what that does is that angle allows me to stop with my needle down right in the seam before I actually take the pin out. So 
All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with the whites. Top seam going one way, the bottom seam going the other way. If you feel a thickness at the seam, check your seam over because that probably means that the seam is not lined up and it's actually overlapping. You don't want to feel that bulkiness. It should feel very flat. One more. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hopefully your days are not, or that your week is not as eventful as mine has been. I could do with a little bit of boring. It would be nice. We have gotten so much fabric in and it's just been crazy. I've got all the fabric that we got this past week in on the website already. So if there was something you were looking for, it should be there. I just got to iron these and hopefully I did well. It has been just crazy. We've got our bag class, the last of our bag class this week. We've got our handy clothes, our last ruler club class this week, Saturday. Um, let me think. It's hard to think. I can't even keep my own schedule. Um, That's it. I don't know. My brain is just too much. There's too much going on. So if there's any classes that you have wanted to learn or would like to learn, um, Give me a heads up. If you needed some help with something or a project, you had questions about, you had issues, let me know. I'd be able to help you. All right. Now all we have to do Sew so these two together, and then these two, and then sew our rows together. It's not going to be a lot of matching seams other than the four patch here. What else is going on besides all the craziness? All right, just got to iron these. Are we ready to put this box together?
There it is. All we've got to do now is sew the block together. And there's no matching seams, just end to end. Super simple. last set on and then block 55 is done and 56 is an easy one today too these are all easy i mean by now after 50 blocks there shouldn't be any surprises it's just a chance to master your skills that's all this quilt is it's a great looking quilt but it's going to be an easy quilt it looks a lot harder than it is. And that's pretty much the same I found with any quilt pod, any quilt pattern. Um, they always look harder than they actually are. You just have to dissect them one step at a time. All right, let me just iron this and show you what our black looks like. And we'll go on to the next one. Obviously, it's bigger than I need, but that's okay. I'd much rather have a bigger block that I can cut down than a block that's too small. And we're not talking a lot bigger than I need. It's just a little bit bigger, just enough that I can square it up. And do the size that you need. Whoops, there you go. Okay, now block 56 is right here. Super easy. Again, we're going to sew these two together and sew them to the biggest square. Sew all three of these together, and that's the last part. Super, super easy. How are you guys liking this quilt so far? I'm just gonna chain piece these. Does chain piecing save a lot of time or thread? No. But for me and my machine, it saves me time because when I sew with this machine, too often the beginning wants to be sucked into the plate on the machine. And by having meters and enders, I stop that and I can just keep sewing without having to stop and start too much. All right. So now I'm going to sew this one onto here. Sew this one onto there and then sew them all together. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, just like that. It wants to suck it in. It's a brother and a baby lock issue. I've seen it doesn't happen on a lot of the other machines. Every machine has its work. And the more you use the machines, the easier it is for you to work around those quirks. Or at least anticipate the quirks.
All right. Here we go. Now all we have to do, we have this seam, which is gonna line up. And I'm just sure my seams are opposite so I can mess them. What that means is this seam here goes that way, this seam goes this way. So again, sew down from here, stop with my needle down in the seam before I take the pin out, take the pin out and finish off. All right, all I gotta do now, iron. And our last block for this week is nine. There you go. All right, everybody, you know where I am if you need me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, send me a message or give me a call. Hope you have a great day, everybody.